First, you have to understand the conditions in traveling salesman problem. So, with the help of this assignment by Hungarian method, we can solve this traveling salesman problem also. The solution can be adjusted by inspection. Inspection in the sense we have to modify the solution, we have to modify the assignment. In first row, in every row, you have to assign zeros and in every column, you have to assign zeros. Hello everyone, welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysore. In my previous session, I have discussed about traveling salesman problem. So today I will discuss some more important problems on traveling salesman problem. In my previous session, I have discussed direct method in traveling salesman problem. So today I will discuss modify the solution by inspection method. So if you are not getting the direct method, so we have to modify the assignment. If you not get the direct method in traveling salesman problem, so we have to modify the assignment by using inspection method. So first problem, so traveling salesman conditions are the salesman starts from his home city and he must visit every city exactly once and he re returns to his home city, right? Already I have discussed about this. Here we are giving the task to the traveling salesman. So by using this method, we can find the route shortest, shortest route distance, time or cost. So here we have to find the optimal solution. First, you have to understand the conditions in traveling salesman problem. And we have two phases in traveling salesman problem. That is phase one and phase two. So in phase one, Traveling salesman problem can be first solved as assignment problem. So those who have not seen this previous sessions of assignment problem, first you have to learn this assignment problem by Hungarian method to find optimum solution. So with the help of this assignment by Hungarian method, we can solve this traveling salesman problem also. Those who have learned this assignment method by Hungarian method, they can easily solve this traveling salesman problem. And then check the traveling salesman problem conditions. First, you have to find the Hungarian method and then we can check the traveling salesman problem conditions. And if the condition is satisfied, then the assignment problem solution will be the optimum solution even in traveling salesman problem also. If your condition is satisfied, first condition is satisfied, then the final optimum solution even in transportation problem also same, just like a assignment method. If your condition is not satisfied, I mean, if you get indirect method, so we have to go for step two, that is phase two. So first we have to check the solution can be adjusted by inspection method. So we, in phase two, we have three methods. The solution can be adjusted by inspection. Inspection in the sense we have to modify the solution. We have to modify the assignment and form a single circuit and the iterative procedure. So with the help of these three steps, we can find the phase two also. And by using this phase two, we can find the optimum solution. So today I'm explaining this solution can be adjusted by inspection method. So first problem, here you have one matrix representation. I have five number of columns and five number of rows. Keep in mind all the diagonal values are infinity because traveling salesman can't travel from A to A, B to B, C to C, D to D and E to E. Again, he can't travel to the same area. He can't travel to the same position. From A to A, he can't travel. B to B, he can't travel. And C to C, D to D, E to E. So all the diagonal matrix values are infinity, zero or sometimes they will give dash. So next step. So what is the next step? By using this matrix representation, we can find the row reduction. So row reduction is the first step and then the column reduction is the next step. 
So row reduction. Here we have fine number of rows. First I will consider the first row. In first row the least value is 1. The least value is 1 in first row. So subtract with the other value 2 minus 1, 5 minus 1, 8 minus 1, 1 minus 1. And in second row the least value is 2. 6 minus 2, 3 minus 2, 9 minus 2, 2 minus 2. And in third row the least value is 4. 8 minus 4, 7 minus 4, 4 minus 4 and 8 minus 4. And in the fourth row the least value is 4. 13 minus 4, 4 minus 4, 7 minus 4 and 5 minus 4. And in the last row the least value is 1, 0, 3 minus 1, 2 minus 1 and 8 minus 1. So this is your row reduction and by using this row reduction matrix representation I can find out the column reduction. So consider this first column. In first column we have the least value 0. Sometimes in question all the diagonal matrix values are 0. If you get 0 so here you have to mention the 0 only. But while considering the column, column reduction, you can't take this 0 as the least value. Except this diagonal matrix value, you can consider the other value as the least value. So here in first column, the least value is 0. So again you will get the same values. And in the second column, again the least value is 0. So 1, 3, 0 and 2. In third column the least value is 1, 4 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 3 minus 1, 1 minus 1. And in the fourth column the least value is 0. And fifth column the least value is 0, 1. So, row reduction and column reduction also finished. So, what is the next step? So, here in next step we have to assign zeros. So, next step is assignment. With the help of row scanning and column scanning, we can find the, we can assign the zeros. Row scanning. In first row, in every row, you have to assign zeros and in every column, you have to assign zeros. If you get one zero, you can put a square box around that zero and put a vertical line. And if you get two zeros, you just skip that row. If you get two or more than two zeros, you just skip that row and go to the next row. So in first row, I have one zero square box and put a vertical line. And in the second row, again I have 1 0, 1 0 get cancelled here. So put a vertical line. And in third row, I have only 1 0, put a vertical line. And in fourth row, I have only 1 0 and put a vertical line. In fifth row, only 1 0, put a vertical line. Now you can cross verify it satisfy the optimal solution or not. So how to check it is satisfying the optimality condition or not? The number of square marked should be equal to the number of rows. So number of square marked is equal to number of rows. So how many zeros have assigned here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And number of rows? 5. Is it equal? Yes, it is equal. It's satisfying the optimality condition. It's satisfying the optimal solution. So we can find the assignment now. So here, so now what is the assignment for A, B, C, D, E? So salesman has traveled from A to E. A to 
E, then E to A. He visit A to E and E to A. Is this correct? No, it's not completed because he travels only from A to E and E to A. Without visiting other cities, he directly travels from A to E and E to A. It's not completed. Here we have to modify the assignment. He started his journey from A. From A to he travelled from E. Again he travelled from E to he returns back to the same point called A. Without visiting other cities. Right? So here he travelled from A to E and E to A. It's not completed. And again B to C and C to D and D to B. Without visiting these cities, he directly travelled from A to E and E to A. So now we have to modify the assignment. This is called as inspection method. Here we have to modify the assignment and we have to find the shortest route. So now I have to modify the assignment. Instead of this 0, I will assign other number. Next least number. Instead of this 0, I will consider next least number as an assignment. So instead of this 0 means next least number is 1. So now I will consider this 1 is my assignment. So I will write the matrix value now. 4. 0, 7, 0 and 9, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 0, 7. Here the first assignment has not completed. So now I am going to modify the new assignment. So instead of using this 0 as assignment, I will take 1 is the assignment value because 1 is the next least value. We have to consider the next least value for inspection method. So I will assign this 1 as a least value and I will cancel this 0. So in previous matrix representation, I have assigned this 0. But it is not completed. So in next step, I am assigning new value. So I am assigning the new value instead of using this 0, I will consider the next least value. Next least value is 1. So I will assign this 1. And in second row, I have two zeros. In second row, I have considered this assignment, right? So same thing. And in third row also, same assignment. But in fourth row, in fourth row, instead of using this 0, so I will consider the next least value. So next least value means I will assign this one and this will get cancelled. And in fifth row, again I will assign this assignment. So now you can cross verify. In one row and one column, you have to assign only one zeros and only one least value. So in first row, I have assigned this one. In second row, I have assigned this one. And in third row, I have assigned this 0. In fourth row, I have assigned this 1. In fifth row, I have assigned this 0. So now you can cross verify the assignment. I have modified this assignment values. So now you can find the assignment. So optimal assignment is, he started his journey from A, point A to B. A to B and B to C and C to D and D to E. This is your assignment now. D to E and E to A. So now you can check whether it is satisfying the optimal solution or not. He started his journey from A, point A and he travels to point B and B to C, C to D, D to E and E to A. This is a starting point. So he travels each and every city exactly once and again he returns back to his same position, right? 
so this is your final assignment so instead of using that assignments I have used this assignment as a final value so now it is satisfying the optimality solution so now you can find the total cost so here a to b so what is the original value of a to b it is 2 plus b to c b to c is 3 plus c to d c to d is 4 plus d to e is d to a 5 and e to a is 1 2 plus 3 5 4 means 9 9 plus 5 14 14 plus 1 is so total is 15 kilometers so this is your final value here i applied inspection method so in first solution if you not get direct method sometimes directly you will get this assignment if you not get the direct method you can go for inspection method inspection method means modification so here we have to modify the assignment modify the final assignment is called as inspection method this is about your inspection method in traveling salesman problem so in inspection method I have used the next least number sometimes in here if you not get one is the least number so you can consider the next least number is three so you can assign this three and here if you not get one the next least number you can consider so two is your least number so like that you can consider you can modify the assignment in traveling salesman problem this is very important question please practice this problem in my previous session, I have discussed direct method in traveling salesman problem. So, here I have explained indirect method that means inspection method on traveling salesman problem. So, in my next session, I will discuss some other important problems on traveling salesman problem. Thank you.